Do you want to boost sales on your Shopify store with a product recommendation pop-up? Product recommendation pop-ups have been proven to increase sales 10 to 30%. You can also use them to create product awareness for items in your store, as well as to showcase your one-time offers. The best way to create a product recommendation pop-up is with Optin Monster. And in this video, we'll show you how to make one for your Shopify store step-by-step. -step. Let's get started. Step one is to get and install Optin Monster in Shopify apps. Go to optinmonster.com and click the green Get Optin Monster Now button. And with a pro plan, you'll have everything you need to execute this tutorial. In the Shopify homepage, click on Apps. Then click Visit the Shopify App Store. Here, you'll type in Optin Monster. On the results page, scroll down and click on Exit Pop ups and Email Pop ups. Here, we'll add the app by clicking on the Add App button. And this will bring you to an Optin Monster install app page. So click on the install app button. And with the plan you just purchased, authentication will be automatic. So now you've successfully installed and connected Optin Monster to your Shopify store. Step number two is to create your pop up using Optin Monster. In your Optin Monster dashboard, click the green Create New Campaign button. Then select Pop up. You can select the template that fits your design needs. And for this tutorial, we'll be using the Camber template. Then name your campaign, select your online store in the drop down, and you can start building. With the drag and drop builder, creating a campaign that perfectly matches your online store's branding is so easy. I recommend starting off by clicking on custom colors and importing your brand's custom color profile. Next, we'll change the image by clicking on opt in settings, opt in view styles, and then you can choose from the library or upload from your computer. Make sure you choose an image that's visually impactful and shows what you're offering as the product recommendation. You can easily add or delete elements off your campaign, and in the text editor, it's easy to change the font, font size, styling, colors, and more. And in the headline, you should explain your product recommendation offer to customers. And remember to take advantage of the subtext to explain your product recommendation offer even more. For this example, we wrote, we saw the dress in your cart and thought it'd be the perfect moment for you to create the complete outfit with new shoes. Enter your email to get 25% off the shoes of your choice at checkout. Next, you'll edit the submit button to reflect your product recommendation offer. So for the button text, you can write something related to your offer, such as get my shoes coupon for this tutorial. Next, scroll down to background color to change the submit button's color. You can either choose from your brand's colors or select any color from the color picker. Once you've completed the product recommendation opt-in design, you'll need to go to the success tab. Here you can import the layout from the opt-in view, and then you'll just have to make some final changes to reflect the coupon code or offer that you promised in the opt-in view. One thing I recommend is providing a coupon code for your recent subscribers so that they can get that instant gratification of having opted in to your list. Now that the design is complete, go to the display rules tab and click on e-commerce. As you can see, you have excellent options for targeting your Shopify customers. But since this is a product recommendation pop-up, we recommend using the Shopify cart contains rule. This makes it easier to cross sell or upsell based on products that your customers have already shown interest in. Once you've selected your display rules in the integrations tab, you'll need to connect to your email marketing service provider, such as constant contact. You will only need to integrate if you use your product recommendation pop-up to capture email addresses. You'll automatically have access to Optin Monster's native analytics. You can also connect to your Google Analytics in just a couple of clicks. Finally, in the Publish tab, toggle from Pause to Live, Save, and when you go to Preview Campaign, you'll see your product recommendation pop-up on your Shopify store. Now you have a product recommendation pop-up on your online store that will work for you to bring product awareness and boost your sales. Make sure to check out our video about how to boost conversions with multi-step opt-ins. And to find out more about what Optin Monster can do for you, check out our demo. And don't forget to subscribe for more Optin Monster videos, the channel dedicated to getting you more conversions, email subscribers, and sales.